We've got an extra treat for you talking about uh, Israelis. We have a Jew from New York. I haven't introduced him in a long time like that, but I'm going to keep on a theme. Give it up for the one and only Jeff Simon! I've got divorced so many times I have on my uh, home my time my home share on my phone. <laughs> Whoa! I say I'm a Jew and uh, I hate Arabs. We're just not a, we're just not on the same wavelength. Every Arab, Arab I've ever had to work with or deal with is just like oil and water. Uh, like you know, I'm a Jew. I'm not religious. The only time I believe in God is when uh, when somebody's dying and, and I owe them a lot of money. And so I say, please God, no, no miracles, just let the motherfucker die. And, and the sooner the better, you never know when they're going to get a cure for cancer. People can laugh, you know, it's a comedy club. <laughs> Motherfuckers. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, my second joke here. Um, my second fucking joke. Yeah, I... Um, I forgot my second phone. I, cha I changed the order before that. Now I forgot. Now I'm fucking totally lost. Um, I know this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, every Jew I know voted for Obama. Every Jew I know voted for Obama. Uh, because they're liberal Democrats. I voted for Obama because I love basketball. <laughs> like, I was at a playground yesterday, and I told this black guy who had next that I voted for Obama, and he gave me a run. Uh, I would have had to wait like two hours to get on the court. Thank God, you know. Uh, I just broke up with this Jewish woman who was becoming a real pain in the ass. She would never say good morning. She would say, how's your stock portfolio doing? <laughs> I would say, I, I don't know, I haven't turned on CNBC yet. And she suffered from a bad case of crow's feet around her eyes. <laughs> and it kept getting worse every time I told her to suck my dick. She would go, suck what? <laughs> All right, you people know how to laugh. All right, very good, very good. Um, I know this. I know this guy. He moved to Tampa. He loves. He loves it there. He's from Lauderdale. The thing he misses the most about the East Coast, he hasn't seen a big nose in three months. That's a good anti-Semitic joke. Uh, I was talking to this Jew who lives on the Upper East Side. Uh, he just dumped his wife for a hot young Russian chick. Don't feel bad for the wife. She gets the summer house in the Hamptons, uh, the east the east side apartment, the Mercedes, and five million dollars cash. Uh, any un, any unmarried woman in the audience here? That you're the only one. How, how, how come you're not on the Upper East Side trying to get some Jew to marry you? That's where I'm going right after the set. No homo. <laughs> uh, I know this Jew who lost $20 million to Bernie Madoff. Uh, he, he knows a Ponzi scheme. The first time I got his monthly statement it was handwritten on a hot dog wrapper. All it said was, you're up 20% love Bernie. But he didn't turn Madoff in because when a Jew is up 20%, he's out of touch with reality. You know, you're, you're right. It's out of touch with reality. You, you, it's like being high on crack and heroin. You know, the last time I was up 20%, I was uh, seeing hookers every night, was banging hookers every night, and I was sitting courtside in Nick games. But I tell you, as good as 20% is, there's nothing like being up 30% if you're a Jew. Because that's when happy days are here again. Because that's when you can dump your wife for a hot young Russian chick. Yeah. This crowd is fucking dead. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this shit. I can, you know, give me some sympathy. Anyway, anyway, I can't believe they gave made up 150 years in prison. 150. He didn't kill anybody. He didn't rape anybody. All he did was steal a couple billion dollars from some Jews who didn't even need the money. They were investing the money for the retirement accounts of their great grandchildren. But he got he got 150 years because he was a Jew. Charles Ponzi, who they named the Ponzi scheme after, got five years because he was a Christian. Yeah. I swear to God. If he was black, he would have got off. You know, any black people here? Go commit a crime. Go hold up a 7 Eleven. You're not going to jail. It's not fucking real, you know? But I understand. Everybody hates Jews, right? Right? Everybody hates Jews. But you people are hypocrites. 
Because uh, when you get diagnosed with cancer and you want to get cured, who's the first person you go to? Right, thank you, thank you. And who do you go to when you're suing somebody for millions of dollars? Right. What a fucking smart crowd here. And where do you go when you're being sued? Who do you go to when you're being sued? Hello, no, you go to a Christian and you will steal all your money. <laughs> Uh, I called my son in Chicago last night. He, he makes a million dollars a year. He sells mutual funds. I said, I need a hundred grand right away. He's hung, hung up on me. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know what his problem is. Whenever I ask him for money, he hangs up on me. He's the cheapest motherfucker I've ever met. Uh, I had a date Saturday night with this uh, woman. She's 20, 30, 35. 35. The most incredible ass I've ever seen in my life. I asked her to move in with me. She wants a hundred thousand dollar line of credit and a weekly allowance. <laughs> I could have used that hundred grand for my son, um, but she, because she's really smart too, she knows that Jeter is number two, A Rod is thirteen. Well, she should. She's probably fucked both of them. She's a fucking hoa. <laughs> uh, this lady does not like me. Uh, I could tell. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, yeah, um, but my son is, what was I saying about my son, right? Uh, my son was in town last week with his, with his, with his new girlfriend. You, yet, does any, did anybody have, has anybody ever tried to have a conversation with, with somebody from the Midwest? With a chick from the Midwest? Well, you get a, like one word answers. Okay, I said to her, uh, does your mom cheat on your dad? She goes, yes. Would you like to sleep with me tonight? No. Why not? Because would you like to smoke weed? No. She's got to be the dumbest chick I've ever met. And my uh, my daughter in Texas is mad at me. She's mad at me because I didn't fly down for her son's nine-month-old birthday party. I told her I'd be there for the ten-month-old birthday party. Uh, I was there for the eight-month eight-month-old birthday party. This kid doesn't know who the fuck I am. When I pick him up, he cries, and then I shake him, and then I gotta get him CPR to get him breathing again. That's cool. Uh, this kid is, he, he gets way too much attention, he's going to be gay. <laughs> Which is something wrong with that. Uh, I just hope he turns out to be Anderson Cooper and not Richard Simmons. <laughs> and my daughter in Jersey is pregnant. The test for Down syndrome just came back negative. I may believe I was happy. I would love to have a grandkid that's not going to be smarter than me. Who's not going to rat me out when I smoke a joint? Thank God for you, you're the only one left in here. <laughs> you have a business card or something? Maybe we could like get together. Uh, I was walking down the street before, and this guy comes up to me and he says, you look familiar. I said, I know, motherfucker, Grandpa Huxtable. I get stopped 20 times a day. <laughs> I'm fucking real, you know? Grandpa Huxtable. Uh, so I, so, so I, Googled this, I Googled it on my iPad, and uh, you know, no, he says, uh, he says you look like it's not. You look like you have his brother. He said you look like you have his brother. And I googled it on my iPad. And you, you have things about a hundred. He looks like shit. But the brother's in his eighties. He looks really good. And they both. All right, I see. I see. I <laughs> something going nuts here. <laughs> fucking real. I'm getting. I'm getting something called laughs. Okay, okay. This, these are fucking laughs. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, so, so they both have like a uh, hot young woman under their arms, you know, what the hot young woman? I'm into hot young woman too, you know? Like I like this woman, she's 30. And she likes, she's a bartender, she likes me, she's always buying me free drinks. And uh, she asked me to go running with her, she runs six miles a day. I said I just had four stents put in last Tuesday, I can't. Not really, I just told her that. And, but I want to fuck this chick really bad. Uh, but I, Viagra is so expensive. Does anybody know what Viagra for? Yeah, a lot. I can only I can only fuck this chick like once or twice a week. Um, so, but thank God she's got a boyfriend. He has like a million tattoos and a motorcycle. So I could fuck her like one or two nights, and he could do the rest. <laughs> right. And then uh, then I was smoking a joint outside this bar where this chick works. And when I got in, I must have smelled like weed because this guy. Who, this, this, this guy inside, whose girlfriend, uh, 
his girlfriend looks like a Fox News Channel anchor, and he has a copy of, he has a copy of the uh, Second Amendment in his back pocket. He's staring at me. He says, Arsh Merrill Marijuana. It's like a typical asshole Republican, you know? Typical asshole fucking Republican. You know? Um, well, Alright, I'm going to finish up. I'm a pharmacist. We'll write in. There's one more <laughs> fucking joke here. This crowd is fucking dead, man. I'm a pharmacist. I work for Rite Aid. Um, this customer comes in and says, what's the best thing for rectal itch? <laughs> and I go like this. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I can't believe it, you actually smiled. <laughs> and I said, it's your finger, it's the best thing. And uh, this guy is the mystery shopper. He's the mystery shopper. He gives me a zero on a mystery shop report. Do you believe this shit? And my boss, who's a gay Jew and loves cock, comes in the next day to fire me. Comes in the next day to fire me. I said, there's no way, I'm, I said, you can suck my cock, there's no way I'm getting fired because the mystery shopper doesn't have a sense of humor. So he says, okay, if, if you let me suck your cock, you can keep your job. Uh, but then he says, uh, uh, does this, well, can I suck your cock if you, if you get a customer complaint also? I said, you know, we'll say, relax, will you, you know? I get all excited to make this record. All right, I'm gonna give you back to Scott, you know. Joe's here. Maybe, uh, thank you very much. Jared, yeah!